Alexandri Isak Deal Dan Del Medico Daily Ali Medico and ZH Talks are progressing to sit here. They leave Chelsea. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss on stories that we do upload in here on a day. Rock and David is my name and today we are into the second story. Thank you guys for really loving this channel. You've loved the first video. In just in just like two hours, it's having close to 4,000 views. You guys are really great. And thank you for keeping it Rokani Media. Smash the like button, guys. Comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, or you've always been watching us on a daily, and you've not yet subscribed, please, you are doing yourself a disservice. Go ahead to the lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button for smashing it, hit the notification bell, that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this piano. So guys, let's go eyes. Today, Looks like we are left with how many days? Eight days, nine days to the end of the transfer window. And remember, by Thursday next week, midday, midnight in England, it will be done. Now, teams are really going in for players. And guys, with effect from tomorrow, you might see me coming in here doing videos, videos after video, because I expect here we go left, right, and center. In there we go now. The Ishak deal is done. Fabricio Romano has really confirmed to us that this deal is done and dusted. And even... David Austin has gone ahead to let us know the same thing. Fabrizio Roman has told us firstly today that Rio Sociedad sources confirm an agreement imminent with Newcastle for Alexandri Isak advanced today by Davio Vasco. Club fee, club record fee with final details now discussed. Long time deal and also add structures. Main points discussed to get the deal done. That is Fabrizio Romano. And he went ahead to let us know that Newcastle have already agreed personal terms with Alexandri Isak and his agents. Final details discussed and add on structure and then deal completed with Rio Sociedad. Set to be signed. Club record fee for Newcastle. Also a record sell for Real Sociedad. Why is Newcastle going in for a man who goes by the names of Alexandri Isak? One. Hugo Ektike was their number one target, but he snubbed them and went to PSG after PSG came in and hijacked the deal. The deal was coming close, but PSG came in through and hijacked Hugo Ektike, who was playing for for Steady Reigns. And remember, Steady Reigns replaced Hugo Ektike with Arsenal's Balogan. You get? But he is there on loan. And for his first three games, he has scored three goals. So, Alexandre Isha comes in through to go in and lead the line for Newcastle. Obviously, when you look at the calibre, and quality of players at Newcastle, don't expect them to be having a forward like Carl Wilson leading their line. As you saw him squad against Man City, he's not bad. He's not bad, but according to the levels of the quality at Man at, at Newcastle, look at player, look at look look at the players surrounding him. Maxman, Saint Maxman, Bruno Guimaraes. You get they're having good players around the midfield. So the more you add in quality, the more you're going to add in competition. And Newcastle is building to be the next big figure in the for you. I mean, it's them not having history, a lot of history. But I remember way back with the players, with the players like Bellamy, Alan Shila, Roharo Bay, No Batsola, No Babayaro, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Clivert, Patrick Colivert. Very many stars have been playing at Newcastle. Newcastle really used to even qualify for the Champions League. You know that very well. They used to qualify for the Champions League. That is Newcastle. They used to finish fourth in the Premier League and they could qualify for the Champions League. So they would, sometimes they went off through the playoffs, but they could they could go on to play playoffs in the for you. But they're bringing Alexandre Isak and you know what Eddie Howe is all about. Reason is simple. When you look at the game they played against Man City, if they had Alexandre Isak, he would have caused more threat to that to that central defense of of Man City because the only man that really created a lot of threat was Maxman. Now, if at all Maxman adds in Alexandre Isak, it's really going to be a very different team altogether. And Isak is really good. I saw him score against Barcelona. He's good. He plays well with his back at goal. He's He does the holder play very well, technically gifted. And I really believe that he adds a lot to that front three of a team which goes by the names of of a team which goes by the names of of a team which goes by the names of Newcastle. He has the essence of quality and he has the minerals to go on and really go and do the following in the for you because I really believe that he's one of those players that is going to provide solutions up front. That's it. He's going to provide some good 
some good some good solutions up front. He's not this kind of player who has been scoring very many goals, but I believe when it comes to the Premier League, a demand is going to be high because at Rio Sociedad, the demand is not all that high for him because he's the star there, he's a star player. But when he comes in and decides which goes by the names of Newcastle, that demand is going to be high and is going to be having competition from people like Carl Wilson because Carl Wilson is scoring goals and Ishak has to go on and score goals too. So Ishak is expected to close a deal of 70 million euros. That is close to 59 million, 59 to 60 million pounds from that side to cross to come into a side which goes by the names of Newcastle. And Newcastle is doing good business. Newcastle is doing good business. And I know slowly by slowly they'll get there, but I really believe that it's not going to be easy for them to be like a Man City. I told people that people look, I told people that you, you, you believe that Newcastle is going to become a Man City, but when Man City came in here, there are only two clubs in the Premier League that we are really having rich people spending money. That was Chelsea and Man City. And it took Man City how many years to win the Premier League? Shinawatra, the former president or prime minister, or visit Taiwan or Pakistan, one of those, those countries, he bought this club and he injected money in it in 2006. You get? After like three, four years in control, the Abu Dhabi prince came in through and bought it. So, when he bought it, obviously, things changed, but it took them a lot of time to reach where they are. To win their first trophy, they won it in the season of 2011, 2012. Those were six, seven years of consistency. Buying and building, making and breaking. You get? That was what Man City was all about. And by then, there were teams, teams like Arsenal were not buying a lot. United also was not buying a lot. Only Chelsea was buying a lot. But this time round, when you look at the teams competing to get into the top six, because the top six now is solid. Man City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea. Solid. Can Newcastle break through? Because it's really having a very bad block of it being not so much attractive. So, what are they going to do to get into that block of qualifying to the Champions League? Top four. Will they get there? That is really going to be the hugest task for Eddie Hoey and the, and the owners. And obviously... Many people think that Eddie Hoy is not the right man for the club, but obviously, when you saw the game he put up against Man City, if at all he can really go and really put in that effort in every game, I think he can put up a threat. And with the coming on of Alexander Isak, it's really going to be a very good addition to the team of Newcastle in there for you. Let's wait for him to be unveiled. Now, we're having a story coming in from Fabrizio Romano again, telling us that Ajax and Chelsea have new round of talks scheduled to discuss Hakimi's EH deal. He's considered priority target for Ajax, waiting for Manchester United new bid for Anthony. ZH has two meetings with Ajax board in the last four days. Now time to discuss between clubs. So when you hear that the clubs are supposed to discuss, meaning that the player has read agreed personal terms with the club, now it's between Chelsea and the team which goes by names of Ajax. Ajax are losing Anthony to Manchester United. He's being sold on a very ridiculous fee that for you. The money they are selling him evaluates to the profit that Ajax make a year. Ajax, Ajax want to sell, Ajax want to sell him at 100 million euros and United put in a bid of 80 million euros. It was rejected and now United are really preparing a new bid. So expect that deal to happen and obviously it's going to happen. But ZH is really a very good player who came in from Ajax signed by Frank Lampard at 45 million pounds and it's going back on a chip because I really read that AC Milan was going to buy him at 8 million euros. He's being sold on the chip by Chelsea, 30 years of age, and him being at 30 years, don't expect lots of things to be happening for him. You get? So, Anton is crossing to Manchester United, and ZH is expected to go into a side which goes by names of Ajax. But I've had a story today that Tottenham Hotspur is in for a hijack. So, let's wait and see how everything is going to go on, whether it's going to go on as planned or not, because things are not rosy at Chelsea, and they are losing very many players. Even Pulisic wants to go, ZH wants to go, Kalm Sonodo is going to Leverkusen, that is in Germany. Mm, which other player wants to go? I think N'Golo Kante. Um, so very many other players really want to leave Chelsea and they really look, they really look 
bad when Ngolo County is not in their team. I saw it in the game of in this game of a team which goes by the names of sorry about that. <laughs> in that game of a team which goes by the names of Leeds where they lost 3-0. They looked ugly. Without Kovacic and Ngoro Kante, I think Jorginho is powerless. It's rendered powerless in that midfield. So let's wait and see whether this deal is going to happen. And it depends on Anthony and United. Will United really sign Anthony? Let's wait and see because Ten Hag is in need of him. Now, breaking story coming in from Fabrizio Romano. It's told us that Del Ali will fly to Istanbul tonight as deal with Besiktas is finally set to be completed. Loan deal confirmed as reported last week by option close included but value still under discussion with Everton. If all goes well as planned, he will undergo his medical in 24 hours. That is a man who goes by the names of that is a man who goes by the names of Del Ali. Del Ali came to the spotlight under the era of Pochettino at Tottenham Hotspur. He really had a very good spell. Every team needed him, but they never wanted to sell him. United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City. He was linked to everyone because he could score in very, very many goals. And in this modern era, if I told you a central midfielder and you can score close to 20 goals a season for one, two, three, four seasons, oh my God, all being double figures, those teams will always need you because every team would like to be having a goal scoring central midfielder because they are scarce to get. You get? Nowadays, we have very many wide forwards who will go on and score goals like the Mohamed Salahs, the Sadio Manis, you get. But central midfielders who will score in goals. I think I think it was Bruno Fernandes who came in through and really put it up. Kevin De Bruyne has been doing it. Um, which other central midfielder has been scoring in goals in the Premier League? Mason Mount has been trying to do that. Um, at Man City, I think um, Kevin De Bruyne that's it because Mahrez and I think Bernardo Silva, yeah, Bernardo Silva is a central midfielder. He has been doing that. So Del Ali was one of those players that really fell off with the manager, Mauricio Pochettino. Mourinho came in through, he dipped in form. And I really believe that it's all about his mind. And even Lampard has come in through and he has failed to live up with the expectations because he was sold to Everton, you get, by Tottenham Hotspur. And obviously, he has failed really to meet the clause of really paying Everton because. He told a clause indicated that they're supposed to be. He has to play a certain number of games for Everton to pay 40 million pounds in the for you. But Everton did it as a desperate signing because they never wanted to go out of the Premier League to be relegated. And obviously they're not relegated. And Frank Lampard is here to see this happen. But let's see. He's going to Besiktas. So he's going to Istanbul in Italy. And sorry, Istanbul in Turkey. Besiktas is going to be the club. Let's wait and see whether these teams really agree on the amount of money that they're supposed to be paying him. So guys, I want to see your reactions on Ishak Deal Dan, Del Ali Medico, and ZH Talks continuing in here on Turokani Media Football. Rokan David is my name. Smash the like button, comment, and share, guys. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner and smash the subscription button. After smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. Remember, guys, tomorrow, 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 I think the Champions League draw is happening tomorrow. You get after teams like PSG playing tonight, PSV playing tonight. I saw yesterday Benfica qualifying. Um, I think I think they beat Dynamo Zagreb on an aggregate of five nil. Then today is a big one: PSV versus versus Rangers. And let's wait and see whether Cody Gapko can really lead his team to the Champions League. That is a team which goes by the names of PSV. So after that, tomorrow we are having the Champions League draws. I'm going to stream live. I'm going to stream that live. On Friday, we are having the UEFA Europa League draws. That is where we are having Manchester United and Arsenal. I'm going to be streaming on two channels, Manchester United Matters channel or United Matters channel and this channel known as Rock and Media. So we are going to be having these busy days. Friday, Thursday are, really going to be, are, are going to be busy days. We are going to be knowing the group where Arsenal is, the group of Manchester United and the group of Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City and Tottenham Hotspur in the Champions League. Guys, second last video of the day. Our last video is coming in. I've seen people asking me about Tidimans. I'm coming back with stories about Yuri Tidimans. Guys, may the Almighty God protect you abundantly and endeavor to let me know what you think about these three stories we've done about. And guys, we are on to, to the 7,000 subscriber target. 
obviously you guys are the ones that really make it happen 6000 subscribers guys you are amazing keep up the spirit thank you i'm out for now one more video coming in after this one